Hi, I'm Nick Sider. I'm a field crop entomologist with the University of Illinois. We're here to talk today about monitoring corn rootworm adult populations. There's a couple of reasons you might want to monitor those adult populations. Um, one of those would be to evaluate the effectiveness of the controls that you've used the previous year. And the other would be looking forward into next year, um, making that treatment decision for the following spring, whether or not a control is justified for corn rootworms. Now the, the tool that we're going to use for this um, is one of these, these yellow sticky card traps. Very simple to use, you just open them up and either wrap them around the corn stalk or put them on a post. Uh, we use a PVC post here. You're going to leave those out in the field for one week. The beetles are drawn to that yellow, co yellow color. Of course they get stuck on the trap and that's where they die. But you go through after one week and count the beetles that are on there. Now from that count, uh, you want to develop an average of the average number of beetles per trap per day. And if you're using this for decision making the following year, that's the number that you're going to use to decide whether or not a treatment is needed. Uh, so if you are sampling a cornfield this year that's going to be planted to corn next year, uh, you have a threshold of two beetles per trap per day. So if you put that trap out for a week, that's 14 beetles. Now, if you're sampling a soybean field this year that's going to be rotated to corn next year, we have a threshold of one and a half beetles per trap per day. And if you take that out to seven days, that's 10 and a half beetles. Um, so 10 or 11 beetles to justify a treatment in corn the following year. Now, if you're using these traps for management decision making, you would want to place these typically around the second to last or last week of July and keep them out in the field for three or four weeks kind of to get the feel for that, and you want to use the peak population to make that decision. Um, so you want to use the highest level that they get to in one week to make that management decision. Now if the reason you're using these yellow sticky card traps is to evaluate your effectiveness this year, to evaluate how those treats are doing, the, how those traits are doing, you want to put those traps out a little bit earlier. You actually want to put them out about this time of year, early July, really around corn tasseling when those beetles tend to be emerging from the field. When those corn rootworm beetles emerge from the field, they're going to hang out in that field that they emerged from for a little while, in fact usually for a couple of weeks most of the beetles. And so by trapping those different varieties, you'll get a pretty good idea of how many beetles are coming out of that particular field, which is giving you an idea of how many larvae survived, fed on those roots, and survived. To go in and verify this, uh, if you have a high beetle population, you actually want to dig up some roots and look for that pruning on the roots to see how much damage you suffered, and use that to make your management decisions over time on what control is going to be right for you. Certainly we have a lot of issues in Illinois with the development of resistance to the BT traits, and so continuously monitoring these on your field is the best way to determine if those traits are, traits are still providing the control that you want them to provide. Um, so continuously monitoring the effectiveness of these over the years is going to help you to make that management decision, help you to know where you're at um, in terms of your rootworm population locally. So. Again, I'm Nick Sider. Thank you for watching. If you want more information about these topics, uh, feel free to go to Crop Central.